The Sew Easy Guide helps you easily and accurately machine sew diagonally across squares without marking or using paper. We often sew diagonally across squares when quilting, squares also when sewing smaller squares onto bigger squares to make connecting blocks, when sewing squares to a rectangle to make flying geese units, when sewing the short ends of binding strips together to make a diagonal seam, and when sewing uh, triangles together to make half square triangle units. The guide is transparent for the best visibility and it attaches to the bottom of your presser foot without harming the foot. It's removable and reusable and more on how to attach the guide to the presser foot will be later. Right now I want to go ahead and get started on showing you how to use it. The first thing I want to do is show you how to quilt diagonally across squares. You simply put your quilt under the presser foot and the Sew Easy Guide and you line up the needle with the corner of the square using the guidelines on the Sew Easy Guide and make sure the solid line on the guide is over the opposite corner of the square and this is where your eye will be. You'll be watching this line on this corner at all times and then you just start sewing. Your needle follows the solid line when the needle gets to the corner, you might want to stop and make sure the solid line on the guide is still over the corner. If it isn't, be sure to move the quilt and not the guide. This makes quilting quick and easy and you never have to mark or erase a line again. It works for squares up to four inches big. Now here I'm guiding it a little bit off the corner because I'm allowing for the seam allowance. This works even if your squares aren't perfectly square. And that's how easy it is to use the Sew Easy Guide for quilting.